Hello friends, I am Kavita and today I am going to teach you T-test and uh, if you will see your IGNU assignment uh, January 2020 batch then question number 6 is all about T-test okay so but one thing which you have to remember is that T-test is applicable only if the sample is less than 30 okay if it is less than 30 then only we are going to use t-test but if it is greater than 30 okay if it is greater than 30 let's say 50 70 so for these samples we are going to use z-test okay so let's start with a question the first question is with the help of t-test find if significant difference exists between the scores obtained on emotional intelligence by male and female teachers okay so scores of uh, their emotional intelligence scale is given to us this is of male teachers and this is of female teachers now while solving we have to remember that the first column will be of serial number the second column will be of data a data a is your male teachers and then data b data b is your female teachers and we we'll let data a as x and data b as y so this will be our x table this will be our y table okay so data is given 45, 32, 25, 57, 36, 42, 35, 55, 66, 65, 30, 35, 22, 27 and 26. So we have written that data in the first column. Okay. Now if we talk about our another data, then that is given 36, 53, 64, 55, 52, 34, 62, 73, 61, 34, 45, 38, 36, 25 and 45 we have noted down this thing as it is here fine now we have added 45 32 25 the whole calculation so sum of x is 598 and then sum of this whole y table so sum of y is 713 now in the next step we are going to calculate x minus x bar now what is this x bar how how are we going to calculate it so x bar is nothing but it is just the sum of x upon n okay sum of x we have already calculated here which is 598 and n n is number of data given to us so number of data is 15 okay so 598 upon 15 the answer is 39.9 approx then if we talk about say now y bar so y bar will be sum of y upon n now sum of y is 713 so we have written 713 and data for y is also 15 15 numbers are there so divided by 15 now the answer is 47.5 approx fine so moving further now what for convenience what we are going to do we are going to write that our x bar is 39.9 here on the top with pencil so that we can erase it later on and our y bar is 47.5 on the top fine now it will be easier to calculate now what we have to do x minus x bar so x bar is 39.9 now 45 minus 39.9 is 5.1 32 minus 39.9 is minus 7.9 25 minus 39.9 is minus 14.9 57 minus 39.9 is minus 3.9 in this way this x will be subtracted with the x bar and the answer are here i have already calculated it okay now next one next table will be y minus y bar fine now what is y bar we have already calculated it it is 47.5 now y minus y bar so y is 36 y bar is 47.5 y minus y bar 36 minus 47.5 minus 11.5 in the same way 53 minus 47.5 5.5 
64 minus 47.5 16.5 55 minus 47.5 7.5 in the same way we are going to calculate our y minus y bar fine now if we move forward now we are going to going to square this uh, this one this third column x minus x bar ka whole square fine we have done squaring of this thing so 5.51 ka square is 26.01 minus 7.9 ka square will be 62.41 so we we are squaring it so minus will be uh, converted into plus because minus minus is plus okay now in the same way we'll square this and we'll write it in this table now if we talk about our last table that will be y minus y bar ka whole square now we have already calculated y minus y bar so we are going to square all these and when we are going to square minus 11.5 into 11.5 then the answer will be 132.25 5.5 into 5.5 will be 30.25 in the same way squaring of this table will give you these answers fine now sum of this is 2987.75 when you'll add all these numbers so sum of x minus x bar ka whole square will be 2987.75 and when you will add this whole table so sum of y minus y bar ka square will be 2659.75 okay now if we move further the same thing which i told you that x bar y bar how do we calculate it i have written it here okay now using formula now we come to the formula of t table okay the data which is given to us that is independent so the formula which we are going to use is of independent okay independent samples the first data is independent of the second one it is not dependent on the second one so the formula for the independent data is t equal to mod of x bar minus y bar upon n1 sigma x square plus n2 sigma y square plus n1 plus n2 upon n1 plus n2 minus 2 now this thing and this whole thing just keep a note that this whole thing is in square root don't forget this is the most important thing that these two are under the square so we have to uh, calculate the answer on the basis of the formula now if we see the formula x bar we know that is 39.9 we have already calculated it if we see y bar that also we have already calculated now if we see n1 that also we know that 15 data is there okay n2 again we know for males and for females for both 15 15 data is given to us now we don't know sigma x square and sigma y square fine so we need to calculate this so when we calculate sigma x square the formula for sigma x square is x minus x bar ka whole square upon n1 minus 1 fine now sigma x square equal to uh, x minus x bar square we have already calculated it x minus x bar square equal to 2987.75 sum of all these okay i have written the same here 2987.75 and one is 15 minus 1 now we calculate this then we get the answer 213.41 in the same way for sigma y square the formula is y minus y square upon n2 minus 1 and i forgot to write one thing that is i forgot to mention sum 
and here also sum of x minus x square fine now when we say sum of y minus y square upon n2 minus 1 sum of y minus y square also we have calculated here it is 2659.75 so 2659.75 upon 15 minus 1 and this will give you the answer 189.98 okay now we know n1 n2 is also there x bar y bar sigma x square we have calculated sigma y square we have calculated so now we are going to put the values in the formula fine so here see t equal to i have written the formula again now x bar is 39.9 y bar is 47.5 n1 is 15 sigma x square we calculated it is 213.41 and now n2 is 15 and we calculated sigma y square upon n1 51 plus 52 minus 2 this also 15 plus 15 and 15 into 15 again this is under square so square root of whole this thing fine now when we minus when we calculated this one we got minus 7 by 6 so, but mod is there okay mod of minus 7.6 and below that when you will calculate 15 into this you will get 3201.15 plus 15 into this you will get this answer 15 plus 15 is 30 15 into 15 is 225 now 15 plus 15 minus 2 is 28 now always remember when mod is there the minus sign gets changed okay the answer will be in positive so when we open the mod basically when we remove the mod then the answer will be in positive it is 7.6 plus upon 60 okay so the answer will be when you will add this it will be 6050.85 upon 28 into 30 upon 225 will be 0 0.1333 okay now t is equals to 7.6 upon 216.1017 into 0 0.1333 okay now when you calculate it 7.6 upon under root of 28.806 when you calculate this then you will get t equal to 1.42 okay and this will be your calculated value now we have to calculate df for this okay this is degree of freedom so degree of freedom is n1 plus n2 minus 2 n1 is 15 n2 is 15 minus 2 so we get degree of freedom equal to 28 when we so degree of freedom is 28 fine so the t value at 0 0.05 level for 28 degree of freedom when you will open your t table okay in t table when you will see on the top they have written the level of significance and here they have written degree of freedom so at 0 0.05 and degree of freedom is 28 so at 28 when you will check the value the value will be 2.05 okay you have to open the t table for it it is given in your igno material fine so t tab tabulated value means t tabular value which we you have seen in your table that is 2.05 but the value which you have calculated is 1.42 fine now we are going to write the interpretation for this since the calculated t value the calculated t value it is less than 2.05 means it is less than the tabular value so with this we conclude that the null hypothesis at this level is accepted why it is accepted because the calculated value is less than tabular value 
fine and we conclude that there is no significant difference in the emotional intelligence score of male and female so the question was asked that there is any difference so we have concluded that there is no significant difference as such because calculated value is less than the tabular value and the null hypothesis is accepted so the null hypothesis is accepted and passed fine and if you like my video just do let me know so that i can make further videos for you guys thank you